So just going in on the hardest chess site in the world. And starting from the Gusto, I think we're down in the 400s type thing. And it's not a rating ladder climb or anything fancy like that. We're just starting from from the bottom and just seeing how we can get on in trying to improve the quality of our games. So they are really strong on here. Um, whether it's computers you're playing or, or bots or whatever it is, they are unusually very strong. And sometimes there's ones where they're just un very unusually very weak. But the majority of the games are un unusually very strong indeed. So we're being realistic. Coming onto this um, site, um, it is the hardest site in the world for me personally um, to actually gain any type of, if you're looking at improving your ratings, yeah, you can do it. It is possible. You see people doing it, um, on, not on a regular basis, but some people do get into the 2000s and all that sort of stuff. It does take a long period of time for them to do that. Uh, obviously, if you're like a GM or whatever it is, then you're going to fly through, um, but you're still going to uh, meet um, really strong type players along your journey. So this is not a rating ladder um, series at all. This is just looking at us trying to improve the quality of our games. We will suffer many losses, but it's how we can then look to develop from those losses as we're going forward. Fingers crossed we can implement the answer process that we've been working on and hopefully that stands us in good stead to have at least a half decent game in trying to block uh, the strength of the players that we will be coming up against. So I hope I've made myself clear in that aspect there. It's definitely not a rating ladder climb. It's not showing off any skills or, you know, trying to beat lower rated players or whatever. The lower rated players on this particular side are really quite strong. The ones that I've come across anyway, I can't speak for anybody else. You might see like IMs or National Masters or Grandmasters playing against the lower end of the scale and they're sort of like beating them very easily. This is not this for us. We're normal human being and it will be a bit of a trial, a bit of a journey. We're realistic. We'll have a look at the losses. If we've made errors in those games, then look at re-evaluating so that we can at least hopefully enjoy the games even more and give a better game against the opponents that we're facing. That's the reality of what we're doing here. Um, so please don't misconstrue it and thinking, oh, we should be winning all the games, this, that and the other, using the answer process. It's not about that. It's about trying to improve the quality of the game. If it gets an advantage in a difficult game, then I'm really happy um, because then it's showing that the system's working. If we're falling foul of um, tactical, uh, demonized moves, magical moves, etc. We want to try and fight against them as best possible. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be playing um, normal human people. And um, we can use the answer process um, as we're going through each of these games. I'm going to jump in on a 15 minute, 10 second game. And see how we get on with this one. So we're ooh, playing as black. Playing as black. So we have 10 second increment. Hopefully we don't make any mistakes. So we're just pushing this pawn to block this pawn here. And gonna develop the knight out. Okay, they're pushing through the center. We can take. And our bishop can actually go and attack their bishop, or we could push the pawn onto the bishop. I'm actually going to just attack the bishop. So the knight's protecting the bishop at the moment. It's attacking our pawn here. We could take the pawn, but does it then get his queen involved in the situation? If we take the bishop, his knight takes. Our queen's on the pawn, but he's supporting the pawn anyway. Don't want to lose out on tempo. If we hit the bishop with the pawn, 
then obviously they go back or they come back again so we're giving them a bit of strength maybe not too sure the whole idea is simple direct uh, moves remove pieces from the ball strategically we take bringing his knight down we can hit his knight his knight goes back to where it came from and we look to maybe hit this pawn hmm going to take just keep it simple I'm, I'm just over complicating it there going past my four move calculation we don't want any of that keep it simple and so I'm going to hit the knight with the pawn smaller piece attacking a higher piece as we say it usually can't be wrong So they have moved back, so we could attack the pawn, like we said, and he's not taking, so we can attack the pawn and we're on the knight. The knight is defending this pawn, so in theory we could take, okay, we'll grab the queen for free, because there's nothing defending. Okay, so they've resigned. So they gave up the queen a little bit early there. Um, they've asked for a rematch, but uh, oh, they've gone off, haven't they? Yeah, okay. So that was, um, I think, pretty straightforward in terms of the explanation on that particular game here. Always very wary. Every game I'm playing on this site, very wary indeed. You look at the rating, you just say to yourself, oh, well, this might be easy. Uh, I don't think like that at all. Um, I've seen some very strong 300 players and all that sort of stuff, you know, um, kicking some butt. So you, you just have to be wary and just try and stick with the answer process as best possible for myself.